In this video, we'll go over how to leverage the enhanced Ops Genie and Zendesk integration. Thanks to the new framework, our bi-directional integration now supports both alerts and incidents for a more streamlined incident management process. Once logged into your Ops Genie account, go to the integrations page. After opening the Zendesk configuration, four integration flows pop up. In this case, I'll choose from an Ops Genie incident, create a Zendesk ticket. I'll add my DevOps team so they get notified. Now I'll fill in the Zendesk information. Let's pop into my Zendesk account so I can show you how to generate an API key. From settings, I'll make sure the token access is enabled and click the plus sign to add a new token. I'll name this one Ops Genie 4 and copy it. Now I'll click save and then pop back into Ops Genie to paste the API key. In this case, I want to match all incidents created in Ops Genie, but you can also modify which incidents get a ticket, for example, by description, priority, etc. Before saving the integration on the Ops Genie side, check to make sure that the behaviors from Zendesk to Ops Genie and Ops Genie to Zendesk suit your needs. Everything looks good to me, so I'll save. From my Zendesk account, I'll go to Extensions, Add target, and I'll add a URL target using the URL found in the Ops Genie documentation. Once I paste the URL, I'll copy and paste my API key to the end after the equal sign. I'll select post as method, and then put ticket into the attribute name field. Now I'll create the target and submit. The admin panel is where I'll be able to create the triggers. The detailed instructions for these can be found on our GitHub page and are linked to from our documentation. I'll name the first trigger Ops Genie Create Alert and select Status is Not Solved and Ticket is Created. Under Actions, I'll select Notify Target and choose my Ops Genie URL target that I created earlier. Now I'll paste the text from the notes provided in the message field. The second trigger I'll create allows me to add notes to Ops Genie tickets. I'll call this one Ops Genie Add Note. Here I'll write ticket is updated and status is not solved. Now I'll paste the provided text in the message field for perform these actions. The third trigger I'll add will be called Ops Genie Close Alert. Under conditions, I'll specify ticket status is solved and ticket status is closed. Under Actions, I'll select Notify Target and choose the Ops Genie target I made earlier and then paste the message text into the message field. Now, from the Ops Genie side, let me demonstrate how this will work. I've generated a few alerts and will select them to create an incident. Select the incident template for this service and finally open the incident. Now I'll toggle to Zendesk to show you the open ticket. Here you can see that Zendesk automatically opened a ticket once the incident was created. Our Zendesk integration is all set. Use this integration to increase visibility and help you to better manage incidents. Sign up for a free 14-day trial and see our incident management features for yourself.